All right, here I have a head that is um, printed at, I believe, 30 millimeters per second, 0 0.06. I'll try and get all the details in there so you can see that. I've sanded this down with the Dremel. Um, and I've got a bit rid of all the rough bits as well, like, you know, kind of all this stuff down here, everything that was printed vertically. It's kind of just got a uh, sandpaper and just kind of went all of this was done with a Dremel 360 kind of um, head. Uh, basically, I'm just going for a completely smooth look or maybe some subtle textures, but definitely no striping and lining that I just think is a piece of shit, quite frankly. Um, I'll show you another one I've done <coughs> earlier, which is what it should come out like. It should come out like this, nice and shiny. Um, Really nice, in my opinion. Um, really good detail. Brings out all the detail. Um, got that weird white residue that the acetone does. This hasn't been treated at all after the acetone. Um, I did, I'll admit, to sanding the teeth down. I just filed them down. Just got a little bit of sandpaper and just went ch -ch 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 between the teeth, kind of like floss. There, I hope you can see all the nice detail that's been preserved. Definitely inside all of that. Um, as I said, this hasn't been sanded at all afterwards. Um, the acetone process on the ABS, I mean PLA, um, completely smooths down all your rough sanding. Well, I sand with 240, not 150 or whatever anyone else says. I just use um, 240 when I print 0 0.06. And as you can see, this is what the kind of, this has all been smoothed down because this is printed um, vertically so these sides are really rough but I don't know there you can see there how they look like sorry my camera's um, I've got 5D that I'm using here um, so I've got a very short depth of field unfortunately um, all right well, here we go I'm gonna do this bad boy now <coughs> and there's the jaw by the way the jaw came out pretty perfectly actually um, the bottom jaw of the other one uh, there you go as you can see from all the reflections, it's very nice and there's no stepping, striping whatsoever on this piece. The head did have a slight texture to it, but whatever, let's admit it's not going to be perfect. Alright, so we get a vat of stuff, of just an empty vat, it needs to be. Got my acetone. 5 litres, 20 pounds. $20, I mean £15 on eBay, <coughs> free delivery, so I'm just going to pour it in there. It's kind of going everywhere, but I'm not airing the house out either, so... Perfect this very well. Alright, I'm just gonna chuck it in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. About twenty seconds should do it. Take that out. Bang it about, put it down, get the head. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Take that out. Dang it, because you don't want the little air bubbles. Fuck, it stinks in this place. And yeah, that's about it. I'm going to see how that... We'll leave it running because I'm going to 
pretty much show you how it looks. Just left them here drying up and stuff. <coughs> In the meantime, I'm gonna fucking seal this container because it's starting to stink. Now they are a little bit funky feeling. I think I overdid it. Put that one there. And there's drawer there. So this is what I've done just now. Um, looking close up. Uh, yeah, it's all right. Um, it's okay. This is what it looks like afterwards. Um, you can see the, I can still see some lines, but I think it's kind of negligible. It's a bit wet, but um, there you have it. A nice and uh, cool, shiny looking. Obviously I didn't, the inside there. Um, you can see some lines, I will admit, but nowhere near of what you do with point one the skull on the other hand i'm just looking at it myself first yeah it looks pretty good um there you go and that's what it looks like afterwards okay the bottom is still wet there's this black shit on my fingers but yeah really nice finishing um so you can spray it afterwards and stuff. Looks really good in my opinion. Um, nice reflections if you're into that sort of thing. Um, there you go, that's what the inside of the mouth looks like. And the teeth, I don't know if you can see them up by the eggs. They're starting to go white now from that. I do do double dips and stuff, so I might actually dip it again because the detail doesn't actually suffer too much and I might get some of those lines off. So I bring the vat back. <clears throat> Where's my fucking mask? Shit. <coughs> Alright, so this guy's going back in again. Another 10 15 seconds to try and get them under the fuck's sake, it floats. So put them hollow. About 10 to 20 seconds I do. If you do, if you if you carry on dipping, I'm kind of putting it down there. Get my head again. Dipping in the middle. As you can see that black shit is coming up on my hands. Yeah, it's that plastic. Dirty plastic. Anyway. Take that away. Cover that shit back up. Alright, and um I'm gonna put that shit for you to look at again. You can see it go all funky and white if you like.
All right, I'm gonna show them. I'm gonna get them. <coughs> All right, here, I'm gonna show you some other stuff I've printed on here, which will be Mario, of course. There's a Mario, and another Mario. Um, <coughs> these have both been just double dipped, so and sanded on the hat just to make it smooth. So you can see the uh, quality there, it's really fucking nice. Um, not many lines either. I chopped his hand off because it, the Okay, so my print, um, I chopped his hand off because the the printer messed up. So um, I had to uh, decide that I'm going to give him a hook hand instead. There you go. That's what it looks like in the light. I don't know if you can see that. And this is the one unpainted with all the residue all over him. It's a good sign if you get residue because that means he's really got to work on the stuff. I did a bit of sanding in all of here because it looks like crap underneath because it's printed with massive uh, stands and then I did all the sanding underneath the, the hands and stuff <coughs> so there you have it acetone on PLA what a great result so yes it does work but as everyone does state it doesn't do much but it does enough if you print high enough so yeah there you go it's not a waste of time printing high res. It just takes a long time. Here's uh, something else. Here's one of those Fibonacci things that I printed. Printed this one at um, what was it? I think um, 70 millimeters per second at 230 degrees. Pretty much default settings, I think 0.8 on the head, I can't remember, but yeah, pretty much default. Just uh, came out really cool actually. I'm still cleaning it up, otherwise I'd dip it. I'll probably dip it and show you later if you like. And uh, the box one, which um, it's got a little bit hot, I think, the needle. Started making things go a bit funky, but I'm sure if I dip it and spray it, sand it, be all right but yeah so this is what it looks like if you dip it sand it a bit all the you know once you dip it you see all the areas you want to carry on and then just sand over it and then just dip it again but don't dip it third time you're asking for trouble peace all right i didn't get any of that funky white residue on this one i can't for the life of me figure out why not um I can definitely see some subtle lines on there, but I'm sure if I spray it and uh, it's no bother. Definitely better than 0.1 millimeter lines. They're definitely there. I don't want to lie to you, but I don't care about that. That's great. All right, peace out. All right, I'm going to be naughty and I'm going to dip it a third time because I want that residue on there. So I'm just going to see what happens if I dip a little bit, let it float let it float for a while I'm not really fussed at this stage anymore because like I said the detail can't really get lost anymore so, fuck so rather than um just gonna grab it there we go a nice angle on it stop it slipping from my hands I'm just gonna shake it loosely now, I'm not gonna bash it I want that residue and I have a feeling when I bash it the residue goes because it goes all over my worktop because it's granite it doesn't matter if you've got some plastic worktop you're fucked you're gonna ruin it um, don't know quite what the hell's going on but it does look a hell of a lot better to be honest with you so yeah, triple dipping might be alright actually, but uh, whatever. Yeah, it's not too bad actually. It looks okay. Um, don't know if I'm in focus half the time here, but I'm trying to show you the, f the from reflections, the lines and stuff, if you see anything. But yeah, there you go. 
I've sanded all of this stuff here, all of this stuff here. Basically anything at less than 40 degrees angle from the ground, as all of you know, it can't print into thin air very well. But yeah, there, there you have it. It's pretty damn smooth. I'm impressed. And for the, as for here, I might as well triple dip that guy as well. Just let him soak in there. And rather than shaking him, I'm going to put him down here as well. And close the back in there. Yep, the triple dip did real good. Got rid of some more lines, I think. Mm, teeth look really nice as well, nice and sharp ends. The points on the teeth are really good. Don't know if you can see them, but there they are. And it's all smooth, they're pretty much everywhere. Done. In case you're wondering, it fits. Really nice effect. I'm happy with that. I can spray that. Done. Hide anything from you. Alright, whatever, I'm out.